Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode featuring some old documents. Today it's actually more of an old story. We're going to be talking about the monk Kakua. Though we do not know his specific dates of birth and death, though we do not know his specific dates, we do know that he lived towards the end of the Heian period in the beginning of the Kamakura period. Another thing that we do know is his actual common name, which was Fujiwara. Kakua originally studied the Tendai teachings and was Zen inspired and actually went to a trip to China where he studied in Hangzhou. This is where it may be possible that he picked up the Shakuhachi. But that's not the story that I want to talk about. I want to talk about a theory. A theory of when Emperor Takakura summoned Kakua to the middle of the shrine to ask about the gist of Zen and what his answer was. I will now read an excerpt from Richard Brian McDaniel's book, Zen Masters of Japan, the second edition. You can find the link in the description below. Kakua. The earliest event to become the subject of a Zen story in Japan concerns a monk named Kakua, who made the difficult journey to China around 1172 in order to study Zen. Since Dolsho had brought back the whole soul teachings, several forms of Buddhism had been established in Japan. However, the teachings of Zen, or Chan, were still only to be found in the remote mountain regions of China. After completing his training, Kakua returned to Japan. He was a recluse by nature and made no attempt to gather students. Following the example of the Zen masters in China, he lived in seclusion in the mountains of his homeland. Although he sought anonymity, stories began to circulate about him, and occasionally students would discover where he lived. They came to ask questions about what he had learned in China. Kakua would reply to their inquiries, then move further into the wilderness. Eventually, the Emperor of Japan heard of this elusive monk who had undergone numerous hardships in order to study Zen in China. Curious about how this school differed from other branches of Buddhism, which he was very familiar with, the Emperor ordered Kakua to the capital to explain what wisdom he had acquired from the study of Zen. Standing before the Emperor and his retinue, Kakua brought out a flute from the sleeve of his robe, blew a single note on it, bowed, and then left the court. For more stories like this, be sure to click the like button, the subscribe, and the notification bell.